Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. Well, this is my 2021 CF Moto C Force 1000. What we're going to do today is install a new KFI Pro Series plow onto the ATV. This is a KFI push tube that I bought, a 66 inch KFI Pro Series plow blade, and then the KFI plow bracket. This is going to go underneath the uh, ATV and mount underneath. All right, so this is your plow mount bracket. So what you want is these little tabs here where your push tubes are gonna to mount to. They're gonna be facing forward. And when you get underneath your ATV, you're gonna to have to remove this bolt and this bolt and the same on the other side. And it comes with new bolts. And this is gonna mount underneath through these holes with the bolts going up. And these are the longer bolts that it comes with. And we have the bolts and the washers ready to go. And when I mount it, I'm going to use some Loctite also. Before I mount this up too, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the top of it because a lot of snow and salt is going to sit on the top of this. And there we go. So two bolts on each side. I put grease on top of the plow mount and then make sure you torque them down. Again, I used a thread locker. This was the easiest plow mount I've ever installed in my life. This literally can be done in about two minutes. Nice thing too, it doesn't hang down too far. As well, you can still access your drain for your oil. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, we're actually going to hook up the push tubes and mount them underneath the ATV. And then we're going to install the bracketry and then finally the plow. Also too, before I put this under, I'm going to put some white lithium grease on it and I'm going to spray some rust check in the tubes here. That's where they have a tendency of rusting out. Alright, so it's coated in a thin coat of white lithium grease as well as I sprayed inside the tubes. So what we're going to do next, we're going to go over to the install kit. I'm going to take out the safety pins. These are what's going to mount the push tubes underneath your ATV. So we're going to get that installed underneath the bike. So the push tubes all mounted underneath. I'm surprised that it doesn't seem to stick out very far in the uh, front. So what we're going to do next is install your wench cable lift bracket. So this is going to mount right to here with uh, two bolts, 16 millimeter. So you can either put it down like that. I'm going to put it up like this. All right, so we have the lift bracket installed. The next thing you're going to do is push your plow blade up to your push tubes. So you can actually see this hole right here. And we're actually going to put a bolt through here. And there's going to be a spacer that goes here, a washer, and then a nut. All right, so I just want to mention this spacer here. You can see how it goes in on one side like that. When you put this in, it's going to have that groove going on the inside and not the flat surface. That way it gives it room to fit in over side the uh, bolt. All right, so they're both mounted. So the next thing you install is your trip spring. So you take your spring, you put it right through this hole here, bring it up, take your eye hook, goes right through here with a nut and washer on it. So you're going to actually tighten this up to get your spring tension on it once the plow is completely put together. So what you're going to install next is you're going to want to determine the pitch of your plow, means if it's going to lean forward or back a little bit. As you can see, that's about upright. So if you come over here, you can see all the different holes here. So I'm going to put mine in the furthest back. 
So what you're gonna do is take your nut and bolt, you're gonna put it through your hole and install your nut. So both of the plow pivot angles are in, the nuts and bolts. I wanna mention when you're doing your trip spring, springs, you wanna make sure you have a nut on the bottom and a washer. You wanna have these tight, that way it can't go up and down the eye bolt. And again, adjust these for the amount of tension you want on your springs. So what we have next to do is we need to put on our skid plates and then we need to put on our snow flap. So to install your skid plate, you're gonna have this bracket. There's a notch right here. That's gonna go at the bottom and you're gonna have a nut and bolt going through here. It is a little bit tight when you're putting on the nut here, but you do have a little bit of room. So next you're gonna take your skid, you're gonna put a washer, your rubber bushing, and then I'm gonna go three washers on the bottom. And this is gonna actually adjust your height. If you want this down further, you're gonna to wanna to add more washers down here. You're gonna put this up through, and then your rubber bushing and a washer, and then your clip on top. So it's gonna look like this. So washer, rubber bushing. I'm putting four washers. You put it up through your rubber again, a washer and then your clip to hold it on. So again, this is your skid plate as you can see there. And you're gonna have some extra bolts and washers. You're gonna wanna keep these in case you wanna drop your skid plate down, so don't throw out these. All right, I have the snow flap on. So in order to put that on, as you can see, here's your plow. You put your snow flap, then you have this metal piece. So you're gonna have your bolt going up through your plow through the rubber snow flap, up through the metal bracket, and then a washer, and then your nut. So you're gonna have nine of these all the way down. And that's how it looks from the front. So the next thing we're gonna do is hook up the wench cable. Now I will say the angle of this wench cable is gonna be very significant. So I'm gonna end up getting a lift strap that goes on here instead of using the cable. That way the straps are only a couple feet long and I'll take off my cable for the winter time. And there we go, we've got the plow all installed. Again, this was a very, very straightforward install with some basic hand tools. Anybody can install this. This is something that it's probably going to take you about an hour, hour and a half to do if you've never done it before. The easiest part is installing the uh, plow mount on the ATV. Literally take out four bolts and install four new ones and the plow plate. Again, the only thing I'm going to have to do is look into a winch strap. As you can see, with the CF motors, it goes up, and then the winches actually sit down a little bit, so we're going to put a plow strap on there. So I'll look into ordering one of those. I like the fact that how high it actually sits off the ground. And to pivot it, it's nice and easy. Pull up on this. And as you can see, the plow's pivoted. Still has lots of room between the tire and the plow itself. And that's at its furthest pivot. It is fairly close, so I probably won't go that far when I'm angling the plow. I'll probably keep it right about there. So the next uh, videos regarding the plow is actually we're going to hopefully hit, get some snow in the next few weeks here and we'll be pushing it. Again this is a 66 inch KFI Pro plow. I went a little bigger. I was going to go a 60 but this is a thousand cc ATV. These are usually rated for a UTV TV, but this should have no problem pushing that.
I just want to point out this is very well built. I like the reinforcements at the end here. And I will say with some ATVs, when you put a plow on and the plow's raised, it will usually dip down quite a bit in the front. I find this here is barely dipping at all. So that's kind of nice. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, it's a step-by-step -step in how to install the KFI Pro Series plow. Again, this is the basic steps that most plows uh, require for the install. I will say one thing though, I did like the fact that all this area on your plow mount was already pre-installed. So that saved probably 10 or 15 minutes worth of work compared to my other plow that I installed. And if any of you out there watching this video, if you have any tips in regarding the angle for the wench cable itself, put them in the comments below if you have any suggestions on lift straps or whatnot. Again, you can see how far down the uh, wench is compared to right there. So it does sit down a fair way. So the plow wench is actually going up like that. So that's going to end up breaking that pretty quick. So again, if you have any questions, comments, tips, suggestions, or whatnot, make sure you post them below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.